Hi everybody, it's Patty Ann again and I'm here today to show you what I'm learning with my new Total Control U software by Floriani. Um, remember, I'm not an expert, I'm just learning, so keep that in mind as you watch the video. Today what I'm working on is or are monograms. I come up here and I click on the M for monogram and nothing happens much over here in the properties box. I'm wanting to see some info about monograms. Now that will show up once I click here in the design window. And there we have it, monogram. It comes up with the default letters always of A, B, and C. I'm going to change it to my, the letters I need for my monogram. And it doesn't change here until I hit apply. Okay, there it is. I'm going to make it a little bit larger now so that you can see it more clearly. And I'm going to come up here and make it centered on the screen. So there it is, PCA. And if you'll notice in this monogram view, there are all these different types or styles of handles. Each one has a little bit different function. So let's start up here in the upper left-hand corner where there's this one that looks like a penta pentagon or a tent. When I hover my mouse over, notice it changes into a crosshair. When it changes into the crosshair, I'm able to move it. And when I do, look what happens. It enlarges my monogram, both the height and the width of it. And I can take it back. Whoops. Get that again. I can take it back down to there. Okay. So that one increases both the height and the width. This next one, the little square, what this does, and actually it does the same thing on all four corners, just in different directions. When I hover over it and my mouse turns into, or my uh, cursor turns into a crosshair, and I hold my mouse key and drag it down, it changes the angle. I can make it go, whoops. You gotta make sure when you grab it that it is the cursor with the crosshair. And it goes like that. I can use my back arrow up here to undo it, undo it, undo. Okay, now the center one is kind of fun. This one, when you hover over it, your mouse again turns into, or your cursor into a crosshair. If you hold your mouse key down and pull up, it makes it concave, convex. If you go down, concave, when you let go, it stays there. So again, up. And it can stay. I use my back arrow to get back to where I originally was. Coming over to the right hand side, I have another square just like the one that was over here on the left this time. And I hover over it with the crosshairs, pull it down, or again, move it up, and undo, undo. This blue circle, when I hover over it, notice how my crosshairs turn into a rounded thingamabob. I can take that and that rotates my whole um, monogram. Notice nothing happens until I release the mouse and then it puts the stitches where I've gone. Back. Okay. Down here on the lower right, there's another one that looks like a tent, but it's sideways or a pentagon, pentagon pentagram. And that thing. <laughs> and I mouse over it, pull it to the right. This time, all it does is it makes it wider than it was before. It doesn't change the height and the width like this one did. It just changes the width. Now, if there is a time, let's go back. If there is a time when you really just want to change the height, see this one does both, you can come up here and just change the height. So right now I have it at 0.91, let's change it to 1.5, hit apply and watch over here. Okay, so what that did was made it taller. Back, back. All right, let me put this back in the center. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that, and this one is the same as the one up above that makes it go like that. And these two, this one is the same as the others, that just kind of changes the angle. 
This one's a little bit different in that it makes it um, slant. Whoa, oh, okay, kind of slant a little bit. All right, let's go back. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's all kind of fonts that you can try in here and do things with. But I can change it to this one and hit apply and it'll change it. I can change it to dairy, fly, changes it. Lots of different fonts I can try hitting apply after each one. But I don't know if you noticed when I was going through here so quickly. There are also some that say the word monogram after them. This one. This one, down here more, that one. So what that means is they have other special parts to them. So let me click on this colonial one here. And when I click on that, see the pictures up here? That lets me know that there are some decorations that I can add to this. So see this word decor here? That's short for decorations. And I click on this down arrow right here, and it will show me all the decorations that could come with this one. I can choose this one. Nothing happens. Hit apply. There it is. I can click on this one. Click apply. And there it is. It's pretty cool. Okay, you can see what it looks like. There's my monogram and there's the decoration that goes around it. And I can look at it in 3D. Looks pretty cool. Take the 3D off. And if I wanted to have it so it's not highlighted, so I can just see the stitches, I can click over here off of the object. Hey, wait. All I see is my monogram. Where's my decoration? Hmm, let's look at the 3D again. Well, there it is. Click off. See, not like that. And it's... Oopsie, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway... Oh, click off the 3D, I'm sorry, and it's gone again. All right, well, what has happened to my decoration? If you notice up here where we can watch it play out, remember there's this button over here that says simulate sewing. We can simulate the sewing and it's doing just fine. It's awfully slow, I can speed it up with this button. Or I can make it run with my own mouse and just go. Well, look here when it gets to the white part. That's the problem. It's stitching out something, but it's in white. Well, pause it. How in the world do I change that? If I look down here where my design colors are, I notice there's a color one and a color two. Color two is light or white. I'm going to change that. So what I need to do is I need to click on this. But since I've been up here messing with some other buttons, I'm not able to do that. Even if I go to my select tool, oh, I can select it with my select tool. I guess what I was going to show you was if I wanted to change something with the monogram, I couldn't change the lettering or anything like that with just the select tool. But I can click this with the select tool. And there it all is. And you can see number two is here. I'm going to go over here and choose it to be a pink. When I just click on it, I have color one and color two. I'm going to change the white that was over on the left to this pink. And now when I click over here, I can see my design or my decoration. And when I go up here and play it out, it shows up. Okay. Okay, let's uh, open one more page. Let's do another monogram. Click here in this page. Go to a different one. Clo Whoops, I didn't mean to click on that. I want to click on that. Let's try the cubist. I'm going to change my initials to PCA. Click apply. I need to choose one of these decorations. I'm going to choose this one. I click apply. Okay, and there it is. And the same thing's going to happen again. When I click over here, notice you can't see it. Look what it says color number two is. 
If I just come down here and try to click and get color number two, I can't. I have to have this selected first. Let's select it. And now I can change it to color number two. And now it's a different color and it works out fine. So anyway, that's so far what I've learned on using the um, monogram tool. There's lots of things for you to play with inside of there. Um, different ways that you can change all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so have fun playing and I hope this helps a little bit. Thanks. Bye-bye.